to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to look at the back or feel the pile, except I'm going to do it with two hands. And then if that end wants, or whoever that guy has tackled in, whatever the hell he is, if he wants to work across that guy's face, two goes to one, goes to the back. Okay, so I'm going to run up my, my buddy's back. In fact, in fact, I might even, Mac, let me borrow this. I'm going to run up your back. Be the, be on. Okay, so he's locked up on this guy here, <coughs> bent forward, he's on the guy. I might even come like this and start pushing on his back. I may grab a hold of his shirt and give him a little, let him know where I am. Give him a little boost. Thank you. That's, that's beyond cold nose. That's, that's uh, deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had it, we called it that. <laughs> So, <coughs> if our wives only knew how we talk, mine does. <laughs> okay, deep linebacker, start with two hands, but see the linebacker and feel the pile anyway. I guess I already said that, I wrote it down. Block it as if it's, uh, block, as a, block it as it expresses itself. Be patient. Remember, you don't have to do all this shit when the ball snapped. You don't have to hit the guard and die hard when the ball is snapped. You have to have your head in the right place, you gotta have your shoulders in the right place, and you gotta get your feet organized. A lot of times you can't strike real hard when you do that. Maybe you can just snap into a guy. The harder you hit him, he might just glance off him because he might stone you anyway. Yeah, a lot of guys can do that. Hard deal. Okay, now the second way that you get an overlap is when the center, uh, Donaldson did to the guy got in the gap, but uh, is when they, they stack on side. Uh, on, the onside guard is, you know, or someone like that, is, it could be the linebacker over the guard guard over the, you know, behind the guy behind the, in front of the tackle. But usually it's an even deal, and the center has to reach and work with the guard. Okay? Your angle of departure is real critical. It's got to be at the outside of the linebacker. It's got to be on the outside of the middle of the linebacker. I'll show you the diagram but through the shoulder of the down line. Got it, right here. And that's offset, set off, offset, over that, there they are. Okay. Getting closer here. All right, overlap. Here's the, set. Here's the first one I talked about right here. Did this, we, I demonstrated that. Okay, here's this one right here I just did. Now, what this guy's going to do is he's going to come off like this. He knows this guy's coming to him, all right? So probably a forearm. He's got a forearm on this guy. Maybe not, maybe not striking the outside number, but he's probably got a forearm. I'm going to keep my outside hand free because I know the center's overlapping with me. I'm going to keep my, out, my right hand free. I am not going to stick my right hand in there unless he crosses my face. So keep my outside hand free, wide feet, boom, boom, all right? Now, center. The middle of the cylinder of the guy, I don't know where it is, but it would be kind of like right between his numbers, because he's offset a little bit in the ball carrier, so it would be about right here. So, right here. Okay, so here's the guard. He probably, I want him to take a, you know, take, keep, keep his hand free unless he crosses your face. All right, so center. I'm going to go straight through the near shoulder of the down lineman, and I'm going to head for the outside of the middle of the linebacker. That's still my guy. In theory, it could be my guy. If that tackle moves up, that's my guy. I want to have my head in the outside of the middle of the cylinder. So, well, let's see. Let's take a drop step, go through that shoulder, and put both hands on, and let's go find out what the guy does. We got two on one, so. Unless that guy comes right to me right now as a center, he can come right to you, the ball's going out there anyway. Uh, so I can push on this guy and look over the top. And then we're, wherever he decides to go, that's where we go, because I can push the guard off and those kinds of things. I guess, I hope it makes some sense. Anyway, two hands and then goes to one and so on and so on. Now, offside. 
I say the most important for last. First thing I'm going to talk about is cutting off. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be the left tackle now, and the, the projector here is going to be the defensive end in front of me. If this is real simple. These are all just catchy little tip things that I say. Take him to the plate, don't let him take you to the plate. Cross the T on him. Probably, that's where I got it, cross the T. Okay, cross the T on him. <coughs> the tighter that guy is to you in width, the deeper your drop step. I know, I know, and there are probably guys in this room that coach in the same, the coach in the Sunday league like I do that do it differently. This is the way I do it. If this guy's real heavy on me, God, he's going to beat me here because the guard is gone. I don't give a fuck. 